Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 to get extra FPS, improve your performance, fix lags, stutter, ping issues and so much more. So make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential window settings and for that search for settings on your PC and then head over to gaming. Go over to game bar and then turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will give you better FPS because it will stop consuming the memory in the background which is completely useless. And then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to gain extra FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply click on that and then head over to change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to gain extra FPS, reduce your input latency and utilize your GPU for gaming. Head back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and then head over to the download location of Fortnite. Select the win64shipping.exe and then click on add. This will make sure that this application is added in this list and once you find it, head over to options and then click on high performance and this will utilize your GPU to render the game primarily. Step number two is deanimating your windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then select adjust for best performance over here then click on save task while thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts this will ensure the basic look of your windows and remove all of the unnecessary animations which consumes your processes in the background head over to advanced and then select virtual memory over here click on change and then deselect automatically manage paging file size then for custom size set this thing to 1361 and then search for system information on your pc Look for your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. So what you have to do is open up your calculator, multiply 32 or your installed physical memory with 1024 and you'll get it in megabytes. What you have to do is divide this whole value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Once that is done, click on set and then click on OK and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory. Click on OK and that should be done. Step number three is disabling startup applications. And this is also very beneficial. Simply press Control Shift and Escape all together on your PC and your task manager will pop right in front of you. Head over to startup apps and then start disabling all unwanted and unnecessary applications that you do not want to start with the boot of your PC. This will ensure that less number of applications and processes are running in the background since the boot of your PC and it will ensure that your PC is utilizing the most of these resources to render the game. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here select your local disk C and then click on create, name it, uh, Fortnite just so you can remember it and I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on close and then close system properties. Next step is the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can also join my Discord server to get a detailed downloading tutorial. You'll find in 6 simple folders over here. The first one is the CPU Priority in which you'll find AMD as well as Intel CPU Priority. Once again, if you use an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU registry. If you use an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority and it will use the Intel stocks optimizations for your PC. Second is the Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 priority in which you'll find two files. First one is a full screen exclusive and second one is the Fortnite optimization. I recommend you guys to run both of them. You can simply double click and run them and it will change your registry to the optimal ones. Once again, if you want to revert them back, you can always revert them from this folder. Third folder is the RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of RAM optimization registries. Once again, you can click the one that you have on your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I have to run this one. It could be different for you so you can choose from the preset I have given right over here. Once again, if you don't like it or you want to reset it back to default, you can double click and then the reset to default one right over here. Fourth folder is the programs folder in which I have left MSI mode 3.0 as well as cache cleaner. Let's begin with the cache cleaner. Right click on that and then right it as administrator. This will start deleting all unwanted cache files from your PC and don't worry this is completely safe. It will delete all of the temporary files which are not used and these are just dumps created by programs in the past. Once that is done, it will be automatically closed. Move on to the MSI mode utility 3.0, right click and run this as administrator. 
Once it opens up, you have to find your GPU and then click on the MSI button right in front of it and then select the internal priority to high. This will make sure to put the best GPU affinity and it will help you to gain extra FPS in the game. Next is the unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services to disable. Once again, if you use Bluetooth, do not do this one, but you can run every single one of them and disable these unwanted services to gain extra FPS as well. Once again, if you don't like it, you can always revert them back to default right over here. Last and final is the power plan settings in which I have given an ultimate power plan. Right click on this as administrator and this will add a power plan into your list. You can double click and open power plans and then select the Bear Fox Ultra Powerful Plan or it will be shown as ultimate performance. You can simply select that and then close it. Next step is disabling sysmain and it is really really beneficial. Simply search for services.msc and once you're over here simply press S on your keyboard and find sysmain right over here. Right click on that and head over to properties. Startup type should be set to disabled and if this service is already running on your PC, you're losing a lot of FPS. Simply stop it and restart your PC and you'll gain up to 5% FPS boost in your game right away. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using no ping. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below you can simply come over here and download no ping for free from the link in the description below once you open up the application it should look like this and you can find over 300 games in this list simply search for fortnite over here and then click on select the server on this page you'll find all of the game servers and you need to find the one that are really close to you for example dubai 01 is the nearest one to me and it is also giving me the least amount of ping as soon as i click on optimize this game it will start optimizing my game in one single click as soon as you drop into your game just set your game servers and you are good to go the best part about no ping is the settings gear right over here which helps you to enable turbo game which will automatically improve your keyboard response and then if you click on the boost fps button right over here and enable all of these options it will also help you to gain extra fps on your pc which is another good part once again, I use no ping each time I play and I recommend you guys to do the same. Download no ping from the link in the description below. Next step is the Fortnite config settings and here is how you can do that. Simply press Windows and R key together and then search for app data. Once you're over here, head over to local and then press F on your keyboard and find Fortnite game. Head over to the folder, click on saved, config, Windows client and you'll find a game user setting.ini right over here. Right click on that and open it up with notepad. Once you're over here, you have to change a few settings right over here. The first one is B motion blur, set this thing to false and B show grass, set this thing to false as well. Latency tweak 1 should be set to false and latency tweak 2 should be set to 2. The anti-aliasing mode, just leave it as it is because we're going to set this in game. Scroll down and you'll find a fronted frame rate limit. It is 120 right over here. You have to set this thing to 999. Then you have to scroll a little bit down and you'll find B use headphone mode. Simply set this thing to false. You'll also find B allow download high res MIPS. Simply set this thing to false as well. B use VSync should also be set to false. Audio quality level is the most important one over here. Set this thing to 1. Frame rate limit should also be set to 0 0.000000. Then scroll all the way down until you find ray tracing and make sure to set this thing to false. For the scalability group, this will automatically be set by the DLSS so you don't have to change a lot of things over here. Except the view distance quality, set this thing to 3. Anti-aliasing quality, set this thing to 3. Shadow quality, 0. Global illumination quality, 0. Reflection quality, 1 post processing quality 0 texture quality 1 effects quality 0 foliage quality 1 shading quality 1 and landscape quality 1 once you're done with all of that you can scroll a little bit down until you find the d3d hri preference you'll find the preferred rhi set this thing to dx12 and if you are willing to play it on a performance mode you can set this thing to dx11 once that is done you can simply ctrl s to save this file and then close it out close this and hop into the game for the in-game settings all right so for the best in-game settings press your escape key and then head over to settings for the video settings make sure that you're always on full screen and using your native monitor resolution vsync should be turned off frame rate limit should be unlimited rendering mode you can set it to performance lower graphical fidelity or dx12 dlss or fsr motion blur should be turned off 
Scroll down and you'll find quality presets right over here. I have set this thing to custom. Anti-aliasing, I have set this thing to Nvidia DLSS, but you can use TSR medium as well. DLSS quality should be balanced or quality. I prefer quality over here. Dynamic resolution should be turned off. Nanite virtualized geometry should be turned off. Shadows turned off. Global illumination, set this thing to off. Reflections should be screen space. View distance, I prefer far. Textures, medium. Effects, low. Post processing, low. Hardware ray tracing should be turned off. Show FPA should be turned on. And Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, set it to on plus boost. Simply click on apply. It will ask you to restart your game. Once that is done, go back and restart your game and you can now play fortnite with the best settings possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button also we have royal channel membership so if you are not a channel member yet consider getting the membership as it really encourages me to make more awesome cards like this we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out